This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Well, thank you for having me on, first off, Olga. Uh, nine minutes, let's roll. Uh, my name is Jedediah Collins. I'm currently a certified financial planner and former NFL player. Uh, where my business began was truly out of a passion. Being handed a check in the NFL and realizing I had no idea what to do with it and that I was on the path and the journey to just become another statistic, I started to try to empower myself, educating around personal finances. Like most people, I went and read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, got some Jim Cramer and some uh, Warren Buffett books. And then a mentor truly challenged me and said, you want to be this? Go, go get your CFP and truly learn the language. And so today I've be branched out and I've said, I love financial advisors. I think what they do is essential, but I want to get to people a step before that. And so I've created a business around educating and empowering. I came to the realization that financial education would fail. We've been told that. I went out and I taught hundreds of workshops and courses and classes, and I realized without behavioral change, the lasting impact wouldn't be there. And so my business is called Rookie to Veteran. And it is empowering people with the behaviors needed to find and capture success. And so I get to tie into some of my football days with the behavioral process and then match it with the education from the CFP and truly hoping to impact people's lives and, and find their freedom. I love that. So tell us, what is the best thing about being in business? The best thing for me is that I've been chasing a passion. Uh, something that gives me energy. I, I was very curious about this subject. I was an accounting major. I grew up in Orange County, California around money, but I never understood it. And it, it kind of shocked me, kind of pissed me off a little bit that nobody would, was there to teach me. Nobody was there to help me. Um, and so the best part about being in business right now is that I kind of am my own boss to some degree, I guess, fully now. Um, but really, I find myself most aware and most alive when I'm helping people, whether that's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, whether that's in front of a, a room full, I get energy from this business because it is my passion. I absolutely love that. I actually never thought that I would find something so fulfilling as an accounting major and then working <laughs> in accounting for 10 years. I honestly never thought that I could find something that's so fulfilling. So it's so great to hear that you find it fulfilling as well. And it's, I mean, I think it's our generation. I think it's a new question to challenge and ask yourself, you know, you're in a comfort zone. You have a good job. I left a great job at a great company and took a leap of faith. But to find that next sense of fulfillment and that sense of purpose Sometimes you need to take a little faith. I, somebody challenged me and said, what was, what's ever been created in the comfort zone that turned out to be great? I said, all right, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Absolutely. So I hear from other creative business owners that they avoid money matters like the plague. Tell me your thoughts. I see that as a misinterpretation of money. They don't understand how to use money. And I, I use the acronym USE a lot. U-S-E, understand money, strategize money, and be efficient with your money. And so as I look at it, I, I see people saying, I want a million dollars. And I challenge and push back and I say, you don't want a million dollars. You want what a million dollar lifestyle represents. And mm. where the book I, I'm coming out with and what I want people to start doing is I call it your money vehicle because money is a vehicle. It is a, a verb and a tool used to get to a destination. For too long, we've seen money as the destination and the noun of a sentence. I really try to promote people to see money, whether they get stress, problems, comfort, or freedom from it, and see it as just that, as a vehicle to mm. get to a destination. And so when people come and tell me they hate money or they think money is evil or, that's because they don't use it correctly or wisely. I challenge people to actually spend more on the things they love, whether that's giving it away or buying your kids something, whatever that is, find what makes happiness and fulfillment and gratitude out of money and that become your focus. Again, because money is a vehicle. We all drive, sit in the driver's seat and have to make our own decisions. Truly with the, the financial economy today and 
pensions going away and 401ks coming into take, you are really in the driver's seat. So when I look at people who see money as a stress, it's because they simply work for money. And my challenge through education and through empowerment is to have money go to work for them. I absolutely love that. So what other successful creative business owners like yourself should be on my podcast? A good friend who has been a mentor for me for the last few years uh, created a real estate or a building company out here in the greater Seattle area called MN Custom Homes. His name's Sean McFadden. What I love about him is why he's a creative in my mind. He It's called MN Custom Homes and yet he continually challenges and says he is a tech company. And I love that mindset and that is why he has seen the growth he has is because he always is searching for improvement and searching for differentiation and not just simply getting into a home building company, they're a technology company and he's looking for more efficient ways to build everything, more strategies and just a better understanding of the entire marketplace. I love that. Thank you. So what is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creative business owners should know? This is one of my favorite behaviors I took from rookie to veteran. I I actually noticed it out on the practice field, rightfully so. What I loved doing was observing veterans and the best in the world operate. So I got to work out next to a 15-year Pro Bowl linebacker, and I noticed every time we would run 40 yards, he'd run 45. We'd run 50, he'd run 55. Mm. We'd go into the weight room and we'd have a set of 10. He would do 11. And finally, as a young guy, I, I asked him, I said, listen, I don't get it. Like, is it just hard to slow down or do you lose count? What's, what's going on? He sh- shared with me in the middle of a locker room, the difference between being a collegiate athlete and being a professional athlete is the emphasis and understanding around how important an inch truly is. Mm. He said, I come in here and the only reason after 14 years I can come in here and still compete is because I steal inches in everything I do. Everybody else is younger, healthier, cheaper than me. I steal this on every rep because an inch leads to a yard, a yard to a first down, a first down to a score, a score to a a win, and a win to an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. And that is where my mindset goes, is how do I get my most? So my challenge to myself and any other young entrepreneur is how and where are you stealing inches? You are great at what you do, you are an expert, And so is the person sitting next to you. So is the person down the street. You have to continually seek out that advantage and that edge. So now the most important question of the podcast, (laughs) Kakaya Vasha Lubima Musica, or in English, what's your favorite music? (laughs) So I love this question. I, I enjoy music all day. When I'm working, it's classical. What I love is the music I sing the most now. I have two girls, five and three, are anything Disney. You, you throw on a Frozen soundtrack or anything Moana, I'm, I'm nails at. Um, what I, when I need a confidence boost, an ego boost, something I took from football players in, in the locker room was hip hop. Mm. Travis Scott, Drake, you put that kind of m- that rhythm and music in that, what, that vibe and that energy you get is 100% confidence. Not mm. cockiness, it can turn into cockiness, but truly what they are trying to promote is confidence. And lastly, my core is punk rock. Emo, core, music, that was what I listened to before games because this guy wasn't the dude who put on helmets and went and ran into people. I'd have to kind of change mindsets. And right. so uh, AFI, My Chemical Romance, The Use, kind of some of those throwback punk rocky bands were the ones who transitioned my, my mindset. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jedediah, for being on. What's your website so people can find you? Please come find me, JedediahCollins.com. Rookie to Veteran is actually promoting uh, the Your Money Vehicle, which will be available on Amazon. And if you want a free online course, I'm giving away a 10-week online course via YouTube starting in February. So find it under Money Vehicle. Uh, and my name. So you, you should be able to come and get some free value there. And again, I'm, I'm here to empower people to own their story and that's financial and professional. So I look forward to connecting with you. Awesome. And I'll include all of that in the show notes. Yeah, excellent. Thank you so much for having me on and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Jedediah. This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of creative wisdom podcast where creative business owners share their wisdom in nine minutes. Make sure to check out my blog at ragstoriches.consulting.com.
to get money insights you haven't heard before.